What's up guys, JT here. So a few days back, I asked you guys if you had any questions for me. So thank you to everybody who put down their questions. If you have more questions for me, please put them down as comments in this video or in any video in particular. Or you can also tag me on Instagram at the ritkurtasting17 and post your questions over there. And follow me if you can over there as well. Let's get right into it. Let's begin with the first question. This one comes from Jim Bob, who's a longtime friend and a subscriber on the channel. Thank you so much for your support always. Let's get into it. The first question he asks is, have you had any guitar lessons? Asking this because your playing seems to have improved rapidly. First of all, thank you so much for complimenting me on my playing. I have been putting in the hours and I'm so, so glad that it's starting to show up in my playing as well. I still have a long way to go, to be honest. But, you know, in, in terms of guitar lessons, no, I have not been taking any guitar lessons as such. I did reach out to a few Instagrammers and uh, YouTubers as well, but just due to lack of time and availability, uh, I could not arrange for any guitar lessons. But I have been practicing diligently and religiously every day for an hour or two at the minimum and I'm a firm believer of John Petrucci's Rock Discipline Instructional. I believe that's kind of the holy grail for me since I'm such a huge John Petrucci fan and his picking as well. So I do a lot of exercises from that instructional video to improve my alternate picking every day. And if you wanted to create a you know, video on what my practice routine is, please let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to do that. All right, moving on. Do you play any other instruments? Great question. I do know how to play a bit of the keyboard or the piano or the synthesizer, whatever you want to call it, but I just know a few basic chords. What I did back then when I was doing my solo album is that basically I took some of the chords from the guitar and I tried to transpose them onto the notes onto the keyboard. Simple things like, you know, you take a major chord, you take the root, the fifth, the third, you know, and transpose them onto the keyboard. So I know how to play a few basic chords, but if you ask me to play a song, <laughs> God help us all. No, I can't play, uh, you know, very fluently on the keyboard, but, you know, I can play some basic chords. Hopefully that answers your question. What DAW or DAW do you use? I have been a huge, huge fan of Cubase since the beginning, uh, since I got into music. When I was recording my singles as well in the studio, the studio engineers were using uh, Cubase at that point in time as well, before they jumped to Logic. But I stuck around with Cubase and I was using Cubase 5 uh, for a long, long time before I shifted to Cubase 10.5. I am on Cubase 10.5 and it's not like I've not tried other DAWs like Reaper, etc., and GarageBand and stuff like that. But Cubase just sits really well with me and I've been with it since a long, long time. What's your occupation? I'm guessing computers. <laughs> yes, I am a full-time front-end developer and uh, I pretty much work on websites or apps or any enterprise level applications that you know my organization decides to build. So I really enjoy what I do and that's one of the key factors to be able to work for so long in the same stream. I've been in this stream for almost 10, 12 years and I really enjoy the creativity and the diversity that I get in writing code and creating UI. I've been a designer myself uh, sometime back just for the you know passion of it, not working as a designer, but I did create a lot of designs for my own self and I really like doing that when I find some spare time as well. Are you a bedroom player? Yes, pretty much I am a bedroom player. At the moment, I am only playing solo and pretty much in this confined studio that I have set up at home, uh, doing everything and everything for the channel. I have been in many bands earlier. When I was back there, I was doing the duties of a rhythm guitar player and a lead guitar player as well, composing many songs in the band as well. When I moved to Australia, I haven't been part of any band. I have been doing just this YouTube channel and I wanted to do this from as long as I can remember, right? Uh, there are three main driving factors that make me do this. First being, uh, I get to do what I want to do. Second, I get to do how I want to do it. And third, I get to do when I want to do it. Uh, don't get me wrong, if you are with the right wavelength of people in your band, then definitely it works out really well. But for me, I think being able to decide when to do and what to do is really, really important given the stage of life I'm in. I'm working full time. I have a family that I need to look after as well. So. Finding time is definitely a challenge. So definitely, you know, I enjoy what I do as a bedroom player, if that answers your question. All right, moving on to the next question. Gurtej, what model music man guitar and pickups is that great tone? 
First of all, thank you so much for your compliment on the tone. Let me just bring up the guitar here for a second. This is the Uniball Music Man JP15. This is a John Petrucci signature series guitar. I think this is the uh, 15th anniversary, if I'm correct. Uh, and this is an absolute beast of a guitar. You've seen this guitar many times on the channel. Uh, it's got the stock illuminator pickups i believe this guitar is 100 percent stock i haven't modified anything it's got a roasted maple neck it's pretty fast pretty smooth 17 inch radius i believe extremely good for playing fast solos and i keep the action pretty low i can't don't think i can show you that in this video over here maybe you can have a look extremely versatile guitar i cannot think of any tone that this guitar cannot do. Of course, you can't do stuff like what a Fender or a single coil pickup or what a, you know, a Les Paul would do, but given any humbucker sort of a tone, this guitar just nails it. I've used it on the channel to play everything from Bon Jovi to Santana to Queensryche to Dream Theater. This this is an absolutely amazing guitar. If you haven't tried one, I would strongly recommend go into a store and check it out. But Please don't blame me if you're not able to get out of the store without buying one. <laughs> Your gas is definitely going to kick in. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next question, shall we? This one comes from my good friend Leon Todd. Uh, if you could play in any band, past or present, which band would you choose? Excellent question. Now, as I mentioned, I was in different bands back in India, the first one being Prestorica and the second one being an Antariksh, uh, which I was one of the founding members of. But, you know, there were many other bands in smaller durations around that time period when I was in India. But if I were to go back to one band, it would definitely be Prestorica. And why may you may ask? Purely because we had so, so, so much fun. We toured all over India. We played in, you know, hundreds of competitions, if I'm not wrong. And we were playing stuff like Iron Maiden, Metallica, Megadeth, uh, Queensryche, Mr. Big, Dream Theater. I think we did not play Dream Theater ever live, but we used to jam on the songs. It used to be absolutely amazing uh, as an experience. Uh, we won one of the national level competitions called Campus Rock Idols. And as a result, we got to open for Rasmus uh, Finnish band, if you haven't heard them. They were pretty popular back then. And that was the gig of my life. I, I can easily put it that way. Amazing, amazing experience. So hopefully that answers your question, Leon. Next one, do you want to change the video style to get more viewers? I like you, but I feel bad every time I see you post a high performance video just only to get a few viewers. Thank you so much for your concern. And you know, it's it's a really, really tricky thing, this YouTube thing, in my opinion, right? Uh, first of all, I don't have tens of thousands of subscribers. I am grateful to each of you guys who are on the channel. We just crossed 3000 subscribers. That's a lot for me already, but you know, that's a key factor to your views as well. If you have more subscribers, definitely more people will watch your videos. But the YouTube algorithm works in a really, you know, funny way sometimes. Uh, it's just based on the topic sometimes. It, some topics get really a lot of views. For example, a few days back, uh, John Petrucci started putting out tone snippets on Instagram as to how he dials in his tone in the live, in a, in a live setup. So what happened is that people started searching for John Petrucci's tone and my video started getting more views as well out of nowhere. So those kind of things do play a part, but you know, the social media presence also plays a huge aspect as well. So if you can help me out by sharing the videos on different social media platforms, that could also help. But I have a specific style of making videos. I come across as a very serious person. <laughs> I've tried to be comical, but I miserably fail most of the times. Sometimes I have to do 10 takes to get a video right as English is not my first language. So if you have any suggestions as to how I can improve my videos, how would you like me to present myself? I could definitely work on it. And, and please take this seriously. I do want to create videos which are more engaging for you all. So if you want me to change a specific style of creating a video, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely work on that. Hopefully that answers your question. Next one, have you tried neural DSP plugins? And if yes, what do you think about them? Especially the Petrucci plugin. Great question. I haven't tried the Petrucci plugin as of yet. I did try the archetype Pliny plugin when I was back in the day doing a Pliny Tone Quest video. I did download the trial version of the Neural DSP plugin. The thing I was not too 
happy about is that you have to install iLock alongside, which is another software which you need to have running on your system to be able to run the plugin, which is not a very big thing, but I am usually, you know, I like to keep things very simple. Like for example, if you look at the Mercurial uh, plugins, they are just simple download and install and they work right out of the box. But with the Neural DSPs, you have to have an iLock installed on your machine and, and that just complicates things a bit for me in my opinion. But I did try the Neural DSP archetype plugin. Pliny, my computer was so, so outdated at that point in time that I couldn't even get it to work properly. So it's about time that I try the archetype Petrucci plugin. So stay tuned on the channel. That should be coming up shortly as well. I do want to try it as well. Next one. Did you ever get an AxeFX3? Uh, this is one of the most popular questions on my channel. <laughs> the answer is still no. I did not get to an AxeFX3 or an FM3 or FM9 at the moment. I am very, very happy and content with the AxeFX2 and I want to explore the unit more. I did make a video about some of the reasons that I'm not shifting to an AxeFX3. Uh, I am looking at investing and I'm saving up to buy a seven string guitar. Uh, I want to get that as soon as possible. And on top of that, I think whatever you can do on the AxeFX2, if you watch my video, you can definitely, definitely do all of that in the AxeFX3 as well at the minimum, probably even more than what I am showing. So I don't see a need of the AxeFX3 at the moment. Hopefully that answers your question. All right, moving on. How do you normally record with the Axe FX? Dry with post effects or do you use just the Axis reverb and delays? Fantastic question. So 99.9% .9 of the time, what you're hearing is just the Axe Effects 2. I tend to always use the delays and the reverbs from the Axe Effects 2 or for that matter, any of the effects like, you know, chorus or any modulation that I'm using is coming from the Axe Effects 2 because I am creating tone related videos and it would be not fair if I use, you know, effects which are post production. But there are times that when I'm doing like a jam video or I'm just creating a, a general video where I'm playing the guitar or I'm doing a collab with somebody else, I do tend to use uh, other plugins post in the DAW itself. The only plugin that I've been using in the post is Valhalla Supermassive, which is a fantastic reverb plugin to have. It's free and uh, it gives you a lot of good effects. It really puts that extra edge on your guitar tone uh, in the mix. And whenever I'm doing a good mix, I definitely tend to use them. But whenever I'm using something and I'm talking about that particular preset or tone, I do call it out that yes, this is something that I used in post as well. So hopefully that answers your question. Last one, what amp do you use? <laughs> I don't have a single amp. Believe it or not, I have never owned a single amp in my entire life. Uh, I did own, I think, a Stranger Cube 20, which is a cheap uh, Indian sort of a Cube 20 amplifier, 20 watts, I believe, I think so. It didn't work after a few months of me using it and I pretty much gave it away to somebody, if I remember correctly. I have played through many amps like Marshalls and Bogners, for example, uh, when I played live with my band, but just pretty much using them as a clean channel and using the FX processor like Pod, you know, HD500 or Korg 1000G at that point in time as well. So yeah, I have never owned any amp in my entire life and I would do love to own one. If I ever own one, I think I'd probably go for the JP2C, Mesa Boogie JP2C, which is a fantastic amp I've heard, but I can't afford it at the moment. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for your questions. As I said before, if you have more questions for me, please put them down in the comment section below. I would be more than happy to make another video. I'm trying to do this every month now. So maybe in the next video, I can answer all of your questions. I'll collate them and create another, another video for you guys soon. Take care, stay safe, keep rocking guys. Cheers, bye-bye.